Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. As man, oh man, the crypto market has been shocking people lately with Bitcoin touching the $52,000 mark. My savages, we are correctly prepared in the right asset class as the world changes permanently. We are on the precipice of mass adoption, crypto regulatory clarity, geopolitical conflicts, and potential black swan events. And trust me when I say in the midst of all this change will be a new asset class getting a lot of the flow of money. As we transition into this new economy, with the legitimization of this asset class through that Bitcoin ETF, we're going to be in for a bullish 2024. And if you haven't gotten your crypto positions yet, you're fooling yourself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a little side note, actually a pretty big one. One of our own, John Deaton, is currently potentially looking at running against Elizabeth Warren for the Senate. John Deaton is the first major GOP challenger to emerge. And we understand that Elizabeth Warren's corruption with Gary Gunsler, accompanied with her anti-crypto stance, is no good. And seeing John Deaton take a stand and potentially booting her would be seismic from the XRP army. First they ignore us. Then they laugh at us. Then they try to sue us. And then we take your Senate seat. I think the XRP army and the crypto community is going to be heard very loudly this election cycle. And I can't stress how important this is enough, at least symbolically, as reported by Eleanor Tourette. Now guys, with that major news, I also have to show you from Good Morning Crypto that Anthony Pompliano is dropping a bombshell on potential altcoin ETFs. And the more legitimization the rest of the crypto space gets, the more capital will flow through. The better regulations we'll have. And the more cryptos that got tied in with these ETFs, the more volume and money we're going to make. My friends, if we see these ETFs for other altcoins pass, watch out for which altcoins are likely to have them listed or be a com. So they usually have. Yes, it does, right? Now, you say you've got the next big bet. Share that with us. Yeah, so if you look at what happened with the Bitcoin ETF, right? Bitcoin is an asset, it's now been accepted within Wall Street, and now people want to get access. I think that the next big run of equities is going to end up being an altcoin ETFs. And what I mean by that is forget which coin or which protocol, but the altcoin ETF issuers, I think, are going to have a great run over the next two years. I've made three bets here. I invested in Bitwise, I invested in a company called 21 Shares, and then the only publicly traded company is something called DeFi Technologies. And all three of these, they basically want to give people exposure to assets. They don't care which one you pick, they just want to make sure that it's easier for you to put money into this ecosystem and this industry and i think all three will do well so it usually happens now ladies and gentlemen not only do we have pomp on fox news but we also have gary gensler the chair of the sec on squawk box on cnbc discussing numerous things regarding this bitcoin etf getting passed and he actually drops quite a number of bombshells that I think are fairly accurate, specifically the one about Bitcoin not being as decentralized as people may think. You see, Gary Gensler, he provides some truth within the midst of lies and within the midst of his corruption. But I want you all to leave this video for today understanding what the lizard people are saying. Decipher the lizard talk, my friends. As one of our least favorite reptilians, Gary Gensler, is letting all of you know his stance. What he thinks as we continue to move forward. Gary Gensler is Elizabeth Warren's number one puppet. And this is one of the main reasons this election cycle is going to be different. Crypto is going to be one of the number one talking points on the agenda. And Elizabeth Warren might have dug her own grave. And John Deaton might have built it.
<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. I have a massive XRP video that I've been working on in the background. That is going to be one of those you need to share with your family, friends, and loved ones. And I highly recommend you tune in to the next one I post. As always, guys, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video. I've, I've You've seen the comments, that. right? It's not just that he closed down, that you would say it's you know used by drug dealers and used by folks who are doing all sorts of illicit and terrible things. There's very few things that trade today that people talk about like that. Now, there are obviously frauds and things that happen, but maybe not like this. Like the dollar is like a hundred times more. Well, I, I know so, that's your perspective, but I'm just but, but I'm dollar, curious how you think about just, that. But just, that's true, though. There's, it, there's, this so, is how much has been money laundered with Bitcoin. This is how much. This is Bitcoin. This is do, this no, is no, dollar. Uh, yes, Joe. But I, I, look, here's the Jamie Dimon quote: "The only true use case for it is for criminals, drug the, traffickers, money that's laundering, his opinion. and tax but avoidance." I, has, I know, but that's we have a, a guess. That's his opinion. We have a guess, Joe. What what what, what is your opinion? And what is your opinion that we have something? trading on the exchange for the public that has this type of use case, at least as, as described by no, the it, president it, it of one is, of the it's largest the leading market financial share institutions in, in the country. It's, it's the leading market share in ransomware, uh, and that's publicly known. Right. You know, it's the, it's the, the token of choice for ransomware. Joe, if I can say the U.S. dollar, the euro, the yen, you have the whole uh, society using it. As a medium of exchange, we buy our cups of coffee, as I see here. Right. Um, we get paid in dollars or yen or euro. And you have a whole central bank and, and support for one currency generally per economic uh, right. region. That we don't have here. So there is a very real economic difference. Which is part of, part of the attraction since it's decentralized and, and, and you, can't have, you can't have a profligate central bank. It's not that decentralized. Well, I know, I know you're saying not. because of the ETS, but, but, but really no, it no, is. No, no, it's not that decentralized and because look how finance tends towards centralization since antiquity. Right. So what do we have? We have a handful of three to six core so-called crypto I understand, exchanges. but the asset itself, the way that, the, you know, the, the, that's the, the how distributed the ledger, ledger. Right. That's, how, that's the how the ledger, and... Now, and, how many times do you have people on this show that say, I want to invest in something because how the books and records are kept? I mean, Joe, really? You, you, it's just an accounting ledger, a clever... It's a ledger that, that everyone has, that something. everyone has and can't be double counted. It, it, it's almost immutable. It, that's that's why people think it has. So you values. trust it more than an Oracle database? Or you trust I, I, it more, I trust than, it more than, 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 than a lot of... Trust than a lot of the, the Bitcoin bulls say they trust it a lot more than, than the central bank that, the, that, that, that the enables the, the fiscal authorities to spend money to the tune of $33 trillion. Okay. That's that's everybody's investment choice, but and, and then I think about how many there. things can be used in a deleterious way. Of course, but it, that doesn't it, it has nothing to do with the underlying thing that you're using itself. I mean, I can go run a, a car into a parade and, and run over you know forty. That doesn't mean I can, we shouldn't have cars, does it? No, no, no. You you should have cars. I wasn't going to no. use guns because God, I don't want to trigger. So to speak, anyone on the set, but 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 when the use case of a particular thing that you're buying and selling as an investment is just speculative investment. How many of the ninety percent of the people that own Bitcoin are using it for ransomware? For there must be another. You, well, there say, must be another use case that makes it so attractive to so many people. Speculative that, investing. Right. Speculative okay. investing. That's that's what. Okay. Let me ask a separate question, which is just to pivot this because I think the next sort of order event question is what happens to Ethereum. For those in the crypto world, they all want to know how you're thinking about that. And really, if Ethereum is a security, you know, how does that analysis differ from how you would think about Bitcoin? I, I, what we did in January was cabin to one set of filings. We have other right. filings, you're absolutely right, uh, in front of us, but I'm, I'm not going to prejudge it for you or the audience. That's something that a five-member commission uh, discusses and uh, reviews. Hot tips will ruin you. If you want to be a successful investor, 
be boring. Please get some experience and please focus on what you already know. Don't listen to hot tips. We're all going to be down at the bar on Saturday. And I promise you, at least 10 people are going to come over and say, you know, let me tell you about this company. Let me tell you about this stock. It is going to go through the roof. It is the best thing since sliced bread. You should buy this stock. And if you don't listen to him, don't worry. Someone else will come over and give you a hot tip. Please ignore them. It is not a good sign when you go to the dentist and the receptionist talks, he wants to talk to you about stocks. Don't get excited when everybody's excited. And please, if everybody's depressed, you should get excited. Emotions do usually do not help when you're trying to make investment decisions. We're all human beings and we all have emotions, which can be a negative. Being cold-blooded and heartless can be useful if you are going to be a successful investor. Everybody should learn to only invest in what you yourself know a lot about. Don't listen to other people. Don't listen to hot chips. I mean, everybody watching this knows a lot about something. Fashion, sports, cars, something. And that's where you should focus. If I told you you only had 25 investments in your lifetime, you would be careful. You wouldn't jump in and out. Every time you heard a hot story, you wouldn't invest. We'd be very careful and you would be successful. I know everybody thinks this is easy. It's never been easy for me. So please focus, concentrate, be disciplined and wait until you find a good opportunity yourself. People will say, oh, that's boring. Be boring. If you want to be a successful investor, be boring. Diversification is not going to make you rich. Diversification is something that brokers came up with to protect themselves. <laughs> so you, they won't sue you. And if they sue you, they won't win because you're diversified. If you want to get rich, you focus. You put all of your eggs in one basket. You better be sure it's the right basket. And you better watch that basket very, very closely. But that's how you get rich. Henry Ford didn't diversify. Thomas Watson didn't diversify. These guys put all their eggs in the right basket and got very rich. Says the problem with success is you think you know what you're doing. You think you're smart. You get cocky. You get arrogant. I learn more from my mistakes than I do from my successes.